Hello everyone and welcome to another Digimon figure unboxing video. This time we're going to be taking a look at the newly released The Digimon New Collections Volume 3 and Volume 4 and we've previously unboxed and looked at the New Collection Volume 1 and 2 as well as the Ghost Game and Impulse City Collections but I'm very excited to look at this collection because it comes with Airdramon. Now I also have the original caged figures and minifigures toys that were released both in Japan and outside of Japan in the US and Australia and various places as well. So I've spoken about these minifigs before so I won't go over them too much but uh, we basically have the, uh, the original versions of the newly released ones right here. And the figures in Japan were released in these little cages. So we also have one of these original cages that uh, was featured in that original release. I'm missing the top bar here. And uh, yeah, so I have released videos on those older figures before as well as the new ones. But let's look at this time's figures. We also, for some of them, I have the Gachapon figures that were released a few years ago. For some of them, because I didn't have the... Uh, a cage figure version of them. I'm not even sure if we do actually have a minifigure or cage figure version of Gabmon and Lekmon. I don't own it, but anyway. And of course there's also a Megamon, which is in this collection, but uh, never got a caged figure. So he's considered new, but uh, we did get this version in the minifigure release that released outside of Japan. And I have released a video touching on that pretty extensively because I'm a big fan of the minifigure collection. So uh, let's let's dive into Volume Three. So that has Bottomon, Coromon, Marmimon, Edgemon, Cedramon, and Omegamon. So let's take a look. So we've got version one and two shown off in uh, in this collection. Of course, Omegamon isn't on any of them, but uh, sort of like a special one. We'll just get rid of that cardboard there. So each box is smaller than the boxes that ver uh, the volume one and two came in, but I don't mind the smaller boxes to be honest. And we have a picture of uh, these these figures. So we have them in their plastic little tombs. We've got Omega Mon here, and of course, and I mentioned this in the volume one and two video that these are kind of like chibi-fied so some of the Digimon look better than others some of them look a little bit derpy because they've got as I said chibi-fied big heads uh, not the best looking uh, kind of designs for them to have but uh, some of them look really cute and some of them look cuter than others so here we have our cage and of course volume three comes in a blue cage I do like how each volume seems to come in a different sort of colour. I like that. It makes them seem at least a little bit different if they all had the same red cages, which I think they may have in the first one. I only have the one uh, original cage, which my Cedramon came in, which I'm not actually sure if that's the Cedramon that uh, came in the cage or if that's my... US Cedramon because they're actually the same. So anyway, here's Omegamon. And they didn't make him look too hilariously chibi-fied. It's actually not a bad figure. It's kind of cute, but not, again, the Pale Dramon one from the last set. And I think I mentioned that in the video. His head looked entirely too big for his body. And that's why I use the word chibi-fied. But the Omegamon, he actually looks uh, fairly decent. He looks like Omegamon, and a lot better than this monstrosity, which, yeah, I, I mentioned this in the minifigure video, but the uh, the quality definitely uh, is not consistent among the Digimon minifigs. So there are some that are incredibly detailed, and then there are others that are just like, I mean, that they, they tried, basically. So yeah, um... Yeah, I definitely prefer the uh, the new collection version of the Omega Mon there to the uh, the Western monstrosity there. But most of the time, the minifigs are actually quite kind of nice in quality. Uh, just a lot of the time, they aren't. So let's take a look at this one. So this one is Cedramon, have, haven't hanging out in his cage. 
Which makes me feel sad because Seedramon should have water in his cage because he is an Aqua Digimon. And I'm just having not a good time with this tape here. Usually I'm able to quite easily get the tape. I think I've forgotten the side here. I'm just going to yeet that away. There we are. And there he is, looking ready to... I just pop the door off. I hope that door pops back on. And... I'm just going to look for where the door fell. There we are. And I almost dropped Seedramon in the process. So we'll, um... Yeah, it hasn't snapped, so that's good. So we'll just, uh... Yeah, shimmy that uh, back in there. There we go. Good as new. No one will ever know except for people watching this. So let's look at the Seedramon and compare it because this one is the same figure. The mini figures and the cage figures in Japan and outside of Japan were the same in terms of quality. There's there's no difference between there. So this is basically just an updated version of it. So the eyes have different amounts of detail. You can see that this one's got the white there and this one's only got a little bit of white in the other corner. In terms of the, the, the stripes, Cedramon's got different stripes instead of just the sort of horizontal red band. It's got a diagonal band. And the shade of blue's different. But more or less the same. It's got like the teeth have a little bit more paint on them, so they're less made out of gum. Like I don't think they even tried painting the bottom row. And the uh this Cedramon has the the stamp on the side of it and this one doesn't have the stamp so uh yeah it's actually quite a nice upgrade i i actually think the cedramon original one was one of the higher quality versions like it doesn't have that many flaws to it but i know i don't, think i don't like the face as much on this one i don't know there's just something that's lacking about it like, there's definitely more detail in the new version, but for some reason the face is just... I don't know, it's uglier, if that makes sense. Like, I mean, it's not a particularly gorgeous Digimon or anything, but there's definitely something off with the face. I'm not 100% there, but, yeah, I'm not sure. Let's look from afar away. Um, Actually, I'm, I, think, I think I prefer the original. I... Not 100% why, but there's just something that's lacking in the in the in the new version, and I just can't put my finger on it at all. As again, it's not a particularly you know gorgeous, stunning, beautiful Digimon, so it just looks. I don't know. There's just something moderately off-putting about it, and I honestly don't know. Anyway, let's let's look at Edramon because the Edramon, as we all know, is my favourite. And when this was announced, I had a billion people, and that's, I counted each one, and I counted to a billion, uh, people saying, hey, it's Airdramon, you must really want this one. I'm like, well, I was going to get it anyway. I like all Digimon. I, I'm a collector. I, but it's very, obviously I'm very much excited that I get one of my favourite Digimon. And we do have the, uh, the Airdramon here, which is the original one. Which I always like. He's got kind of like this goofy, like little smile. I like that. And uh, yeah, he's pretty cute. Then we've got the new one, and I just the colors aren't are like, and the same with the Cedramon. The colors aren't as, uh, I guess, less so. It's got the similar sort of blue, but you can see that the older Cedramon is a brighter blue than the new one. And same with this. The older one, the older one has this bright blue, and the newer one's gone for like a. Darker green. Oh, the bit, there's a bit of uh, blue that's gone over onto the, the red. There's a bit of a painting error there. And this one's a bit tighter. We've got like a very clear line between... Th there's no overflow of colours. There's a very clear line between the blue and the red. But here's the blue and the orange or the greeny colour. But, I mean, this colour's... The, the colours on this one is more accurate for Airdramon. Airdramon has orange wings, not red wings, and it's more like a a greener design. I mean, let's see. I don't know why I put this on the floor. Uh, oh, no, maybe I always thought that... I guess the wings are kind of like a an orange-red colour. So it actually is a colour between 
Oh no, maybe the older one's more colour accurate. Let's see. Yeah, actually the older one is spot on for that the colours used. The colours on the new one aren't the the right colours, huh? I always thought there was like a darker colour on the like the orange colour on the wings, but I guess it's not. I guess it's exactly this colour. In terms of the the detail on the face, I like the detail be better in the face. It makes it look a little bit more emotive, I guess. I mean, I always I always think that Adrian was pretty emotive, like with that dumb smile. But I like the colour. I mean, the, the sort of the detail that they've done on the fangs is a little bit nicer. But in terms of the colour, it just feels muted. There's the word. And again, it's it's weird that they've got the blue overflowing and overspilling into the the wings. That feels like a bad paint job almost. But uh, yeah, it's bigger. It is slightly bigger. But uh, yeah, I think I think I'm gonna have to say the old one again for this one. I just don't know why the I mean the colors are less it's less bright so it's less distracting but the brighter colors surprisingly I thought for some reason that they weren't the bright but looking comparing with that picture just then it is actually that bright but still very happy to have Airdrum on maybe they made that color so it looks closer to the colors used on the Seedramon you can see we've got the the similar kind of blue and the similar kind of red on the wings and as the banding on the Cedramon. But, uh, yeah. Also, the, they used a straight white colour for the for the bony helmet, sort of. I'm not sure if it's... If it, is it a helmet or is it actually, like, part of his head? I don't know. And let's look at our babies. There we are. Open the door, get on the floor, everybody walk the dino drum on. And Marmimon's always my favourite figures because they always have like this face on every single one. Like the all of the Marmimon figures have like this like huh? kind of like funny face. And it's it's reverse. They flipped it. Like, it's, <laughs> it's like a mirror of the original one, but the the fist is not as high and is smaller. So the Marmimon's completely different. They gave him a different pose, kind of. It's just, again, almost a mirror image of the original one. And he's smaller, but the face is actually a lot better. I'm not sure why they've used, like, this weird, like, almost pink grey. That's kind of weird. Marmimon's like a grey grey because he's metal. This is kind of like a weird choice of makes him look a little bit like a sperm. <laughs> like uh, slightly. But um, he's cute. I like the level of detail they went with the with the fists and the face is definitely better. So I think I actually prefer the new one of the Marmimon. But just because the face is so much better. Like he's like, whoo. And yeah, he does look a bit like a sperm, and I, I can't give him points for being a sperm, but uh, I'm just going to put that so you can see them from a little bit of a distance. And then lastly, we have the Quoramon and Bottomon, which are actually together, so they were not originally together in the original. And this isn't actually the original Bottomon, this is the Bottomon from the, the Gutchpon set, same as the Alekmon and the Gubbamon over there. But the Coromon is the same. Coromon is much better than the new one. There we are. Definitely. Easy. Because this one has very little detail. I mean, he's not too much to be... There's not much detail to be had anyway in Coromon. He's like just... It, it's a pink blob with a face. And uh, this Coromon, they've given a lot of more detail to the mouth. They've given a lot more detail to the ears. They look a little bit like higher quality, but he's a lot, a little bit bigger as well. I don't know why Marmimon was so much smaller. All of the other ones have been bigger, except for Marmimon. I'm not sure why they shrank him. I guess it's because they had to fit him in with other figures, maybe. I don't know. But uh, that is that is an interesting choice, to, to say the least, with Marmimon. But yeah, overall, I guess, I mean, except Omegamon, which is a new one anyway. I'm not going to 
count him, but he is better than the American one. But I think the ones that are better is Marmimon and the Coromon one, definitely. And I just crashed that. I just I was like, I'm going to put this out of the way so I don't knock it out. But then I immediately did it anyway. So let's look at the Volume 4 collection. And we have like a light red, kind of like an orange colour crate cage for these ones. So we'll just... Uh, I'm just going to try to empty them out without breaking anything. That's the goal in all of my videos, is to try not to break things. So here we go. Here's Garurumon. And let's just look at original Garurumon first. So, yeah, that's definitely Garurumon. Same sort of quality that you would expect from all the mini and cage figures. Just definitely Garurumon. And of course, we the, the main one from this one that's a new one is uh, the Beelzemon. Beelzemon, I don't think even got a minifigure version of him, but I might be wrong because they did release a lot of figures. So I'd be, I'm honestly surprised that they didn't, but I'm probably just misremembering. I've just never seen one. They did release a Black or Greymon one, which I think is actually my rarest minifig, but I'm not 100%. Just yeet that out of the way. So yeah, we have a little boy in a little cage, little orange cage, very orange, very, very orange. And uh, this one is stuck in with tape. The other ones were not. They could not contain him. All right, straight away, this one's better. Like, I I never got why this the minifigure one was like a light blue. Like, Garurumon is white with blue bits and the fact that they've made his whole body blue on the original he doesn't have that blue spot so this one is just 100 percent easily better than the original you can still see it's the same one it's not like with the marmimon they're in different positions this one you can very much see that they're in the same position they've just made his face more emotive he's howling he's not just going oh but uh, yeah, definitely, definitely the new Gururumon's better on that one. So well done with that. The uh, <laughs> Kabuterimon, I never got why <laughs> they made his wings like that color, but also the teeth the same color and made it look like he needed to. He's got like periodontal disease or something. He needs to brush his teeth like once or something. And Kabuterimon's design does not ha like both his wings and his teeth are not. Like, they are off-white. They're not, like, white-white, because nobody has white-white teeth. Unless they're, you know, Steve-O from Jackass, because th those, aren't, th those are not real teeth. Like, they're not, they're Hollywood white. They're not real, they're not real teeth. Yeet that away, yeet that away. And let's check out what colours they've gone with. Slightly off-white. Like, not pure white for the wings. But also not like yellow for some reason. And this this isn't yellowed because it's old or anything. This is actually the colour that it was sold in. And uh not not completely white, like not a Airdramon white. It's slightly like a little bit off. So it's kind of shaded. But uh yeah, definitely. Uh as my, I actually do like the Kabuterimon originally one, but I don't like the fact that it's yellow. It just, it feels kind of weird, especially when you put it next to something that does have the right colours. It just looks, it looks honestly like it's this, but aged, but it's not. This is just how they coloured it. So definitely the, uh, the old one definitely wins it. I mean, sorry, the new one definitely wins it for this. So, so far, volume four is doing really better than the original ones. Uh, <laughs> Gubmon and Lekmon, which... Uh, I'm not counting uh, Gubmon and Lekmon for this because I don't have the minifigure versions to compare. These are, as I mentioned, these are the Gachapon ones that released a few years ago. So they're also the they're also too new for me to compare with them because they're considered new figures. So I guess yeah, Volume Four won against all the original counterparts because uh. Yeah, I mean, I guess Volume 3 didn't do too terribly against their originals. Oh, these are adorable. I can just, I can see straight away that these are just, that the faces are just so cute. Oh, look at that. Look at him. He's a good boy. I like how you can almost see that this, 
that his uh his cloak, his little Gabumon part isn't actually attached. Like I mean it is, but they've made it look like it's not part of him, like the teeth aren't actually part of him because they're not. So that I like that. And then we have the boy. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> He's got a little smile. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, that's very cute. <laughs> and they are better than the uh, the Gachapon ones, by the way, which are very much just like these ones. The Gachapon ones were straight up looking like the old art for Gabumon and Alekmon, so they're not like as chibified, I guess. <laughs> that is still pretty cute. But look at this, they're adorable. And uh, let's look at our very clearly chibified Bielzamon. I just looking at the shots that I've seen online uh, on the from Jap uh, Japan you want website for it. Um, and by the way, uh, because I always get this in every video, uh, where did I get these? I got these from Japan you want. So I bet I best be not seeing any questions asking me where I got these because I got them for Japan you want. That's where you can get them from. I don't live in Japan, I live in Australia. Japan you want are based in Japan. They ship worldwide. Uh, use Japan you want. I'm not sponsored by them, but the amount of uh, good press I give them, they should probably be sponsoring me because I, I always I recommend them. So yeah, I got these from Japan you want. So I better not be seeing any... If if you comment on this video, hey, where'd you get them? Where can I get these in the US, etc, etc. I'm just gonna say, watch the video. And you best, and that is not me saying, hey, can you ask me why, where I got these? Um, anyway, so yeah, the Uh They didn't chibify the, him as much as I expected him to, but uh, look at those teeth. Like, <laughs> it's really funny. Uh, but uh, actually, no, it's pretty cool. They did a good job. They made him not too cute, because Beelzemon's cool, not cute. I think they did a good job of uh, of that. Yeah, big fan of that one. But uh, yeah, Volume 4, despite not having Edgemon, Volume 4 is, uh, is it wins, basically, against Volume 3. And also it was an improvement on all the original ones from either the cage figure set or the minifigure set. I don't know. I've never seen a minifigure Beelzemon, so I can't compare about that. But uh, yeah, big fan. But uh, anyway, that was Volume 3 and Volume 4. Uh, pretty excited to have more of these because I do love my uh, my minifigure collection. Big fan of it. So thanks for watching this video. Let me know which one of these was your favourite. And don't, for the love of God, ask me where I bought them. Japan you want. Japan you want's very good. I think they still have some in stock as of at least recording this. So check them out. Otherwise, you can check out, I don't know, Zen in TCG or any resellers using a proxy service like from Japan or Baiyi that I've outlined how to use before. So if Japan you want don't have them, other places will. Very much recommend them. So which ones out of all of these were your favourites? Let me know in the comments. Like this video if, I don't know, you just want to see this little sperm give you a high five or something. I don't know. I Yeah, I, st I still think his face is better and I think that wins it for me. Like, just the, the fact that they didn't give him the standard, like, I don't know, he's, he's got, like, boss eyedness I don't know, all the time the eyes are just going in different directions. But uh, anyway, those are the figures. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!